hey guys, how are you? I'm Sasha Newlinger, and um, hanging out with my fish. I wanted to show you a little bit of what I'm capable of in some of my clips. I'm rewinding all the way back and starting from the beginning of it all. I died down. There was never an intention to make a documentary about this. My dad just happened to be a filmmaker with a camera in his hand all the time. He filmed my life as though it was a documentary, and now I'm making the film that he never knew he was shooting for. He didn't film things that were bad. You know, you took out the whole movie camera because it was a celebration, because it was a trip, because it was a party. Yeah. And that, every time I videotaped you guys, it was all that. Except in the background, stuff was going on. And now I see that. Yes, we have a surprise guest for you people out there and all you perverts. <laughs> Rewind to Fast Forward is a film about my life overcoming child sexual abuse. Sorry, I'm sorry I did something bad, okay? One out of every four girls and one out of every six boys are sexually abused before they're 18 years old. If we can have a more open and honest conversation, we can protect the next generation of children. Up to this point, we've digitized all of the home video and I was able to walk through my dad's childhood home with him. I think what's gotta be the toughest for my dad is that his brothers who abused him also abused me. If I had gotten the help that I should have had and someone explained to me that both of my brothers were really sick and that they could do this again, they wouldn't have been seen within miles of you ever. Pastor! I looked through old drawings with my mom from my childhood therapy before I was able to tell anyone what happened to me. I was increasingly not able to work and not able to do anything other than try and keep you alive. You were trying to jump out of a moving car when I was driving. You just kept threatening to kill yourself. This was a case of being abused by three family members over a several year period. Destroyed a whole family brought them all down to their knees, back and forth between the courts, doctors' visits, the parents' marriage fell apart. So it was torture for the whole family. People can learn from this. Child abuse is the greatest community epidemic that we face. It's so important for us to be able to have someone who can stand up and say, this is what I went through. This is what I lived through. I survived to tell about it. But you know what? We can do... I want to know that I have an army behind me.